Uh, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another episode of Dropping Dimes with Mr. Duga. <laughs> and today, I'm just going to take a look ahead to um, this Saturday night's matchup. You have the LSU Tigers taking on the number two ranked Alabama Crimson Tide. Um, let's just look ahead to the matchup and uh, keys for LSU to pull off a shocking upset. <laughs> Um, before I get into this video, for everyone, if you want to give me a follow on my social media platforms, I'm going to have all that information down in the description box. May not always get a chance to respond to questions and comments on these videos, uh, so feel free to DM me. And whenever I get a chance to, I'll get back at you. Come holler at you, boy. Also, if you a Madden 22 player on Xbox One, I'm going to have my Xbox One gamer tag down in the description box also. Uh, so come get at me. Y'all go hear a beeping noise throughout the video. Um, I do apologize for the inconvenience and uh, please just disregard it. Uh, first off, you know, taking a look ahead to the opponents, um, you know, Alabama come in number two ranked, kind of surprisingly number two ranked, uh, ranking in the college football, uh, playoff initial rankings. Uh, they do have one loss on the season, came to Texas A&M. A few weeks ago, over there at College Station, um, but they last, they are the last game. They're coming off of a 52 to 24 win against the Tennessee Volunteers. Which, honestly, if you look at film of the game, that game was actually a little closer than the score indicated. Um, Tennessee was really in the game until like you know midpoint of the, of the fourth quarter. Uh, Tennessee threw like a bad interception or some miscommunication and the game just kind of got away from them at that point. Um, but for Alabama, you know, it all starts with that offense. Um, big, big physical offensive line, uh, quarterback Bryce Young, who to me had his most impressive performance of the season, you know, in their last outing against Tennessee because, um, he was a natural dual threat quarterback in that Tennessee game. He made a lot of plays with his legs that he didn't quite really do uh, the rest of the games of the season, uh, which made it more difficult. You could see Tennessee kind of played them for the pass a little bit, especially early on. And Bryce Young was able to use his legs, um, was very decisive and very smart, knowing when to throw the ball and knowing when to use his legs. Um, so you got to give him a lot of credit for that. Um, just a really good performance for him. Brian Robinson is a guy, um, you know, he's not the, um, you know, like the, the the previous Alabama running backs who made things happen, like the Najee Harris or the, you know, the um, the TJ Yeldons and a lot of those guys, you know, the list goes on and on for them. Um, wide receivers, um, Jamison Williams, uh, transferred from Ohio State, a big deep threat guy, to me has by far been their best wide receiver on the season. Um, he's a dangerous deep threat guy. Um, Mechie, a guy who's been a little disappointing for them, though he's still obviously a very good wide receiver. Um, so, you know, you got to keep tabs on him. And uh, they got some athletic tight ends over there. Uh, defensively, the front led by Federian Mathis, Neville, Louisiana native, of course. Um, you know, he makes some things happen, gets after the quarterback and stuff. And, um, you know, the linebackers, Christian Harris, Baton Rouge, Louisiana native, um, out there making plays. And and they secondary, though, they do have a secondary that is susceptible to the big play. Um, they have given up a lot of big passing plays this year. So that's something that, that, that if you're going to try to attack Alabama, you got to go at them in the secondary because they're pretty good in the front seven. Uh, in the secondary, they have a lot of talented players, but – you know, at the same time, there are players that you could you could take advantage of. You could make plays on if you got some, you know, talented wide receivers. Um, now looking at the uh the, the LSU Tigers, man. Um, obviously we got a lot of turmoil going on. Coach Ed Orgeron is on his way out the door. Um, you know, coming off of a bad loss to Ole Miss, where uh Ole Miss just completely gashed LSU. Uh, LSU defensively got ran or ran through and ran all over. Um, and offensively, it wasn't that great neither. After coming off of a great performance against the Florida Gators, um, you know, Ty Davis Price was held in check this game. The LSU was not able to successfully run the football. As LSU's offensive line, though it played well, 
two weeks in a row um, prior to the Ole Miss game. Um, you know, gave up a couple of sacks on my Max Johnson and, and just didn't really block like that. Um, backfield, you know, I mentioned Ty Davis Price. Though he, he had a rough outing last time, he is somebody that's capable of getting some yards here and there. So you got to be, you know, LSU has that going for him. Wide receiver core missing, or obviously to me, arguably the best receiver in the country in Kayshawn Boutte. But a lot of young guys, you know, um, Brian Thomas, Malik Neighbors, Jack Besh, um, you know, uh, to name a few um, young receivers that's very, very talented, but also very young and inexperienced. And then for LSU on the defensive side, man, um, you know, a D-line that's missing the likes of a guy like Ali Gay. Um, but, you know, you got the freshman Mason Smith in there uh, who's capable of making some things happen. Linebacker court, Damon Clark has been since – he's actually been the lone, really, really good bright spot for LSU as he um, coming off of a really good game against Ole Miss where he had like 20 tackles. And in the secondary, you missing Derek Stingley Jr. Um, you missing Eli Ricks. You got some young guys out there. Uh, you got Cardell Flat, who was initially the slot corner, now playing outside corner. McLaughlin um, with some young safeties also. Uh, keys for LSU um, to uh, win this game. First off, LSU defensively against Alabama offense. Uh, LSU got to find a way to create turnovers. <laughs> like, um, you're not going to consistently stop at lineup and just stop Alabama. Um, you're going to have to go out there and make, and make some, make them, uh, force them into turnovers. Um, getting pressure on Bryce Young, forcing him to throw the ball earlier than he really wants to throw it. Um, so for me, that's the key for LSU defensively to try to slow down Alabama's offense. And then when you look at the other side of the ball, the key for LSU to be successful against Alabama is LSU got to find a run game. Um, LSU got to be able to run the football. Um, I think LSU can have some success throwing the ball against Alabama, um, but they got to run the football to where you're not in obvious third down passing situations um, against that pass rush and against that crowd, nevertheless, with a very, very young team out there. Um so you LSU gonna have to find ways to be successful running the football against this Alabama team. I'm gonna say this, man. Um, also, I should have said it at the start of the video, but I'm gonna say it now because I'm gonna talk a little bit about this point spread. Um, to all you Alabama fans, I want to let y'all know something. The ones who hung in through this video to the end, I want to let y'all know something sincerely from the bottom of my heart. You see, I was being nice and breaking down the footage and breaking down the matchups and everything. But at the same time, it, it's still, I know what, what, what both programs are at the moment, but I just want to let them know something. You know, Alabama most likely is going to win this game, but I want to let them know something. Sincerely from the bottom of my heart, I can't stand y'all. I don't like y'all. And I know I said it opposite, but this is how much I don't like y'all. I'm going to tell y'all how I can't stand y'all first before I tell y'all how I can't. I don't like y'all. Okay. With y'all little 28 and a half point spread. Okay. Um, LSU going to cover that spread. Alabama going to most likely win the game. Alabama not going to beat LSU by about 30 plus. Okay. Um, LSU has, has too much pride. LSU has, though young, very much, very, uh, are very, very talented. So I feel like LSU will cover this spread for whatever it's worth. If, um, it's not going to be like last year where it's, it's 31 point lead at halftime. It's going to be a little more competitive than that. So, okay, I just want to let y'all all know that. Um, it's not, and, and then also another thing that's very important. Alabama enjoy it. Enjoy it right now, beating us while we down. I get it. It's I, I know y'all going to hee-hee and talk about it. Coach O said they was going to come to Tuscaloosa and win every time and all this other stuff. But I'm going to just let it be known that LSU is on the verge of getting a really good, good college football coach. Who that is, we don't know. But with this athletic director, Scott Woodward, LSU will be back. LSU has the talent. LSU has has the, the recruiting pipeline in the state of Louisiana. 
and LSU will get a very, it's not going to be a Les Miles or a Coach O, with all due respect to them, they won national championships. It's not going to be coaches that's looking to be celebrities off of this LSU job. It's going to be somebody coming in that's going to be buttoned up, that's going to know what they're doing, and going to lead this program back to where it's supposed to be, where Alabama Alabama going to have to have to get through LSU every year to get through where they want to get. I just want to let that be known at the end of the video. I, yeah, I played nice early on, like it ain't y'all. You know, but at the end of the day, it is Alabama, and I, I don't like y'all and can't stand y'all. Just had to get that out there toward the end of the video. Uh, but with that being said, y'all, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe. Man. I have LSU, NCAA, and content from my other teams throughout the year. Y'all have a blessed one. Go Tigers.